Welcome to the Board of Regents public hearing. My name is Ann Goff and I'm the University of Iowa's Transparency Officer. If you wish to speak but have not already signed in, please do so now. I will call the speakers in the order on the sign-in sheet. You may speak on any topic related to the Board of Regents, including topics in the current agenda for the Board's upcoming meeting on October 22 to 23, 2014. Please identify yourself at the start of your presentation. You will be allowed five minutes to speak. This hearing is being videotaped. We will forward the videotape to the Board of Regents office for review and for posting on its website. You will be contacted by the Board office if the Board has an interest in hearing your presentation at an upcoming Board meeting. Additional information on the Board's transparency efforts and the videos from the public hearings can be found at the Board's website, regents.iowa.gov slash transparency. The next public hearing on this campus has been scheduled for November 20, 2014 at 4 o'clock p.m. in the same location. Please identify yourself and you can start your presentation. My name is Jeffrey Ding. I am a junior studying political science, economics, and Chinese at the University of Iowa. I have lived in Iowa City since I was three years old, um, and I currently serve as the Vice President of University of Iowa Student Government. Um, first, I want to thank the Board of Regents for giving students the opportunity to talk about the efficiency study and also for holding sounding boards where um, shared governance, including student government, has the opportunity to voice their opinion. Um, we recognize that there are savings opportunities, whether that's in IT, student services, or any other places, including human resources. Um, through the presentation and through the efficiency study phases, the one thing that I would recommend to the board if they do an efficiency study in the future would be to have um, any consulting agency also provide more empirical data um, as to whether efficiency studies at other similar campuses or systems have led to these projections or these numbers. Um, I felt like there were a lot of future-based predictions, but not a lot of hard data or empirical evidence to back that up. But given the current context and the likelihood that these, um, these savings opportunities will go forward, I would just like to make one brief recommendation in terms of the implementation of these savings. As we've been reading all the sounding board presentations and the drafts and the, uh, the savings opportunities, it seems that the University of Iowa has a strong capacity in their staff and their faculty to implement some of these changes. It seems like we're already ahead of other universities on things like human resources, uh, things like IT. So I would recommend that you, the Board of Regents allows the University of Iowa to implement these changes in-house uh, to be able to adjust any of the savings opportunities to the specific campus that it's located in because the board needs to recognize that the, the three universities are not a coherent system. They're independent universities. And um, I came to the University of Iowa, not to all three universities. So that would be my recommendation to the Board of Regents. Thanks for your time. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> Ready for me? Uh, so my name is Ben Gillig. I am a PhD student in education as well as a law student here at the University of Iowa. I had the opportunity last year to serve as president of the graduate and professional student body, so I'm past president this year. And this year I'm also serving as the um, governmental relations chair for the graduate and professional student government, uh, which includes some of the activities of the regents. Uh, and I was asked by my successor uh, in student government to serve on the sounding board for the efficiency study for the tier study. Uh, so I've had an opportunity last year as the tier study was being launched, as well as this year as the tier study has moved forward, uh, to interact uh, pretty extensively and directly with the Deloitte consultants as well as uh, the board representatives, most recently Mark Braun, uh, who's now uh, leading the TIER initiative. Um, basically, I just wanted to come to share, first of all, my thanks to the Board of Regents. Uh, when the study was initially begun uh, last year, there was a lot of concern amongst many campus constituencies that it wouldn't really be an inclusive effort, that the board would essentially be dictating the parameters of the study in Deloitte would be carrying out those, um, those uh, demands. Uh, it, 
it's been very much the opposite. The study has been open, it has been transparent. Um, the degree to which students have been able to contribute to the study itself as well as um, to some of the recommendations that I'll be making today uh, has really been extraordinary. I know that this is a process that happens on a lot of campuses um, and I think there's a lot of real pressure on administrators to limit the amount of shared governance involvement when the study is quite as comprehensive as the tier study has been. Uh, but that has not been the case. We've been involved in every step of the process and I'm incredibly thankful uh, to the Board of Regents for setting up a process that was so transparent and so open um, as well as to our campus administrators who have ensured um, that the, it remains so throughout the process and to Mark Braun and his predecessor in the role uh, as lead of the, the tier study um, again for ensuring that students in particular have had such an active involvement in the process. Uh, in recent weeks we in student government have had a chance to read through the business cases and to on a couple of occasions uh, get direct answers to some of our questions from the Deloitte consultants and I think our takeaway or at least my takeaway, um, having been involved with this for the entire process now, is that Deloitte has done a spectacular job of breaking down a very complicated set of organizations. The three institutions are very different, uh, and within each institution there are some very diverse organizational elements that they've been able to very effectively analyze and come up with what I think are some very good cost-saving opportunities. Um, obviously, as students, we want our education to remain as affordable as possible and high, as high quality as possible um, and I think taking an active look at, um, at ways to keep that uh, keep costs down is, is definitely uh, was the right move and Deloitte has done it very well. As we move forward student government is interested in making sure that these savings opportunities are implemented in as smart a way as possible. Um, over the last couple of weeks it's become very clear to us that uh, while Deloitte has done a spectacular job, again, um, identifying savings opportunities, um, we believe the University of Iowa, if we set up the appropriate structure to do so, um, the University of Iowa will be able to implement a great many of these saving opportunities in-house. Uh, we think that um, many of the organizational units are already in some uh, phase of implementing a lot of the same opportunities that Deloitte has so well identified uh, and we think that the best move at this point is for the regents to establish a framework by which um, collaborative implementation of these efficiency opportunities can begin. And what I mean by collaborative is involving the key constituencies the same way we've been involved from the beginning. Students, faculty, and staff working alongside the frontline administrators um, who are responsible for some of the organizational units that are currently under discussion in the business cases um, to make sure that we are implementing these recommendations in the best, the smartest way possible for the University of Iowa and for the Regents system as a whole. So again, I would encourage uh, the Regents as they move forward in the deliberation about what to do next, what to do with these uh, now completed business cases, to develop a framework for us uh, to do some collaborative implementation in-house. And if need be, um, to bring in assistance where we need it, but for the majority of the work to take place on the campuses in direct and close collaboration with the Board of Regents uh, and with um, the tier staff, the staff that have been working on the tier project, Mark Braun in particular. So uh, I think that's where at least I am having been uh, involved in this process throughout and I think student government is of a similar opinion uh, more generally. We've had an opportunity to discuss it uh, and that seems to be the consensus. I know that uh, the two student body presidents from the University of Iowa as well as the two student body presidents from the other two institutions will have an opportunity to address the board at the upcoming meeting. Um, I know that Patrick, the undergrad student body president, Alyssa, the grad professional student body president, will be talking predominantly about the tuition proposal now pending before the board, uh, but I am confident that they will also um, have a few words to say uh, regarding where we are on the tier initiative. Uh, and I look forward to uh, the regents making some final decisions about where we're moving forward from here. So thank you very much. I appreciate the opportunity to uh, speak to the regents. Thank you, Ben. Thanks.